Join the mobile infantry. Service guarantees citizenship. Hey, gentlemen, welcome to the second channel. I'm your host, the Talking Bog Cloud. Today, we're going over my mobile infantry kit from my TS-12 shotgun video that I'm out here filming. I figure it's a good little chance. I know for my fellow nerds that you guys like going over stuff like this, and I figure, hey, why not? It's some good stuff to cover. Now, starting off with a helmet, we have a Repro Starship Troopers helmet or a mobile infantry helmet, I should say. I threw a night vision mount on there, as well as some Velcro for a counterbalance, because I figured that'd be really funny to have a little night vision LARP with some Starship Troopers. Even though fighting bugs at night, they don't have any uh, capabilities that you have to worry about night vision, but whatever, it's it's all for the lulz. I'm really a grown man wearing Starship Troopers uniform out the flat range shooting a shotgun, so there are no rules. I live in a twilight zone. The Balaclava, Arcteryx Gray Balaclava. This is arguably one of my most favorite pieces now. I have been seeking a Gray Balaclava for a while now, so big thank you and shout out to my buddy Jordan. You know who you are. Thanks, man, for helping me acquire this gray balaclava. It is um, greatly appreciated. Wow, what a guy. What a guy. Moving down, we have the carrier. I got this bad boy from Evike. This was all used in my VHS2 video or the Springfield Helion because that was also a Starship Troopers looking gun in my mind. Prices for humankind. So I wanted to do that. Now, of course, I threw some shotgun placards on here to have a nice little shotgun aesthetic. I think the shotgun makes more sense fighting giant arachnids than maybe assault rifles do. At least in the movie, they performed way better, so... I mean, there's that factor. Of course, everything with the mobile infantry is always that gray and black scale. So I've got some gray gloves to go along with it. Got some black pouches, a little bit of multi-cam black because we can get a little spicy. Got a, a Safari Land white smoke grenade for a little bit of texture. Moving down, just got a normal cigar gear belt on, and then I have some throwing knives attached to that to fit the secondary look of the mobile infantry because if you can't push the button, great scene though. Put your hand on that wall, trooper. Then of course, got some gray pants, pretty cheap, just some gray knockoff tactical pants. I'm not spending too much crazy money on a kit like this, guys. Then got some jack boot thugs. These are like some cop style boots, just some black boots that I'm rocking. I've used these also in conjunction with my Blade Runner LARP kit. So maybe we'll go over that in another video, but that's essentially it. Uh, Savi, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. No? Okay, yeah. So, real quick look at the kit. It really adds to the texture of a video. I love, you know, building out a wardrobe for a certain video. I know it's all, like, cheesy and flat range and not the most practical, but damn it, do I love it. So, well, that's nothing else for you, gentlemen. I figured we'd take a quick look at the kit. I don't think it would have fit too well into the uh, TS-12 video just because I want to dive a little bit more in depth. So, I think it works out. But um, I did legs yesterday, and my legs are cooked, so I'm not running out. So, I'll see you guys later.